Welcome to the Joint Operational Briefing this morning. To start off, Governor Ron DeSantis. Well, good morning. As most of you know, overnight, uh, potential Tropical Storm Cyclone 5 became Tropical Storm Elsa this morning. Uh, it's going to continue to quickly move through the Caribbean through the weekend, uh, eventually turning northwestern uh, near South Florida by Monday. Uh, we are uh, not expecting any impacts uh, through Saturday, uh, but obviously the state meteorological team is uh, actively monitoring the storm. We will continue to provide updates, uh, and our Department of Emergency Management continues to implement contingency plans for potential tropical weather impacts, um, including identifying um, alternate work facilities. Uh, as of this morning, uh, our state response team has coordinated more than 500 on-scene responders, including local and state personnel. 59 individuals have been registered for individual assistance. Uh, 108 resource requests have been fulfilled. And the Florida Department of Transportation has removed almost 1,400 tons of building material from the site. Now, obviously, last, last night there was um, issues with, uh, with the remaining structure, and um, uh, our state uh, assets are being provided uh, to Miami-Dade in terms of engineering know-how so that they can look to see what their options are to handle this. Obviously, uh, we believe that a cert continuing searching is something that's very, very important. Uh, so we have Florida Department of Transportation engineers working. I know that that the fire department and the county are, are getting their different options on how to handle this. Uh, but, but of course, we're gonna provide whatever resources uh, they need uh, to be able uh, to allow the searches uh, to continue. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez. Buenos días. El gobernador indicó que todavía estamos monitoreando muy acerca lo que es la tormenta, eh, Tropical Storm Elsa. Eh, eso es, están pronosticando que va a continuar. Eh, no, en este momento no estamos, uh, no estamos pensando que va a ser un impacto directo, pero lo vamos a seguir monitoreando muy acerca. Nuestro director de servicio de emergencia está al mando, está al tanto de todas esas eh, trayectorias. Eh, con respecto a lo que hemos continuado de proveerle al condado, estamos siguiendo colaborando. Hemos podido eh, completar más de 100 eh, eh, peticiones del Estado. Eh, seguimos monitoreando muy acerca lo que es las, las peticiones del condado. Estamos coordinando muy acerca y, por ejemplo, hemos podido remover más de 1,374 toneladas de lo que es todo lo que se está removiendo del sitio. Eh, seguimos obviamente enfocado en la operación de búsqueda de rescate y por eso estamos eh, ofreciendo ingenieros y expertos con respecto a lo que es el edificio que no se ha colapsado. Eso es la preocupación más grande que tenemos ahora. Vamos a seguir coordinando para asegurar que lo que es las operaciones de búsqueda de rescate pueden volver a, a resumir y estamos dando opciones eh, con nuestros expertos para coordinar con el chief y vamos a seguir en ese en, en ese rumbo. Así que le doy las gracias por estar aquí. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Miami-Dade County Mayor Honorable Daniela Levine Cava. Good morning, everyone. We're here to share a brief operational update with you. Uh, as many of you have already seen, we were forced to halt operations on the collapse in the early hours of the morning due to structural concerns about the standing structure. We're doing everything we can to ensure that the safety of our first responders is paramount and to continue our search and rescue operation as soon as it is safe to do so. And our engineers are continuing to monitor the structure as we've paused operations uh, to evaluate the situation and all possible options and next steps, including with the assistance of the state engineers. I want to stress that President Biden's visit today will have no impact on what happens at this site. The search and rescue operation will continue as soon as it is safe to do so. The only reason for this pause is concerns about the standing structure. We've already informed the families this morning who are waiting and waiting about this development and we have worked to answer all the questions that they have about the operation. 
and we will continue to keep the families and all of you informed as we get new information throughout the day. Chief Kaminsky is going to join me for a, a more detailed update on the activity at the site. Estamos aquí para compartir rápidamente información sobre las operaciones. Como muchos de ustedes ya han visto, tuvimos que detener las operaciones en las primeras horas de la mañana por preocupaciones estructurales sobre el edificio que aún está en pie. Estamos haciendo todo lo posible para proteger la seguridad de nuestros socorristas y continuar con la operación de búsqueda y rescate. Los ingenieros están monitorea monitoreando el edificio para evaluar la situación y los próximos pasos también con la ayuda estatal. Quiero enfati enfatizar que la visita del presidente Biden no tiene nada que ver, ningún impacto en nuestra operación de la búsqueda y rescate. El único motivo de la pausa son las preocupaciones sobre el edificio y vamos a seguir adelante lo más pronto que podemos. Ya informamos a las familias esta mañana y respondimos todas sus preguntas. Continuaremos manteniendo a las familias y la prensa informados a medida que obtengamos nueva información de la situación y cuando como evolución cuando tenemos más información el jefe Kominsky ahora va a dar más información detallada sobre la situación uh, aquí gracias muy amable gracias thank you madam mayor Miami Dade Fire Rescue Chief Alan Kominsky good morning the temporary stop in operations occurred at 0211 due to additional concerns for building stability. The stop in operations was based on the subject matter experts of several on-site structural engineers. Concern assessors included six to 12 inches of movement in a large column hanging from the structure that could fall and cause damage to the support columns in the subterrain garage area. Slight movement in the concrete floor slabs on the south side of the structure near the north and south corner of the building that could cause additional failure of the building. Movement in the debris pile immediately adjacent to the south side of the structure. Assessment of the combined data points and continued monitoring. This command will work with structural engineers and other subject matters experts to develop options for continued rescue operations. Thank you, Chief for Spanish, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Director of Media and Public Relations, Erika Benitez. Muy buenos días. En base a las recomendaciones de los ingenieros, tuvimos que suspender temporalmente las operaciones para reevaluar nuestras opciones de cómo podemos continuar estas operaciones de manera segura. Hoy a las 2 y 11 de la mañana, las operaciones fueron suspendidas temporalmente debido a preocupaciones por la estabilidad del edificio. La suspensión de estas operaciones fue basada en varias recomendaciones de ingenieros estructurales. La preocupación evaluada se incluyen 6 a 12 pulgadas de movimiento en una columna grande colgando de la estructura que podría caer causando daños a las columnas de apoyo en el área subterránea del garaje. Además, un ligero movimiento en el piso de concreto en la parte trasera del edificio que podría causar un fallo adicional en esta estructura. Movimiento sobre los escombros adyacentes a la parte posterior de la estructura. Además, vamos a continuar evaluando y monitoreando estos puntos de datos. Nuestro equipo de incidentes trabaja con ingenieros estructurales y los expertos de la materia con el fin de desarrollar opciones para continuar nuestra operación. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Erica, and our Creole translator, Lonel Lerebourg. Bonjour tout le monde. Et aujourd'hui, nous campons un, un peu sur le travail qui a fait ce site-là parce que il y a un peu d'inquiétude qui développait sur l'état structure qui était en place là. Pour qu'on y a, nous capable dit que le président Biden avec visite lui pas grand qu'une influence sur ça qui passait ce site-là. C'est seulement précaution qui apprend de sorte que 
les gens capables de protéger les étapes qui gagnent dans la structure du building qui était en place là. Et pour le moment, ce que a fait, si tôt que l'ingénieur fini de faire travail, il a fini de réaliser ce qui est capable de faire, alors à ce moment-là, nous allons recommencer le travail sur ce site-là. Merci en pile. Thank you, Mr. Lerabour. We're going to go with questions again. I'll remind you, we raise your hand, waiting to be called upon and addressed to who the speaker may be. Ma'am? What do you believe was the trigger event for the movement that you were explaining? Well, we've been working in a very, very unsafe environment. So I, I couldn't pinpoint it to one specific incident. Just last night, uh, as we're actively producing our, our search and rescue efforts, uh, our monitors went off uh, where we're monitoring the cracks. We had three uh, that signaled there there was some expansion or whichever with those cracks. So immediately we removed, as well as there was shifting, uh, as I mentioned, with that column six to uh, 12 inches. And if I could just do a quick follow-up. Uh, given the very first press conference, we heard an update on human remains being found. Is there any other update on human remains being found? Up until the stop of the search, our homicide and crime scene personnel have been on the scene. Uh, we have been re recovering family members, and at times we've recovered as well uh, human remains. But right now, there is no process until we, we ensure that that site is secure so we can immediately get back to work and keep doing what we're doing. Okay. Sí, eh, hemos estado hasta, hasta que paró el, las operaciones, estamos eh, recuperando eh, miembros de familia y los restos hum, humanos. Hasta ahora no hemos recuperado nada porque estamos parados. Pero lo, lo más rápido que se abre es la operación, vamos, los, los detectives y los crime scene personnel van a estar ahí. ¿Cómo es? No, desde, desde los últimos números que te dimos, que eran 18, no hemos encontrado... Una víctima. Gracias. Thank you, Director. Mayor, could you please update the numbers, please? We just heard from our police director that the numbers are the same. There has been no increase in numbers since the last report. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Over here. I couldn't comment on the impact of the inlet. Oh. The investigation is ongoing. We have no comment at this time about the possible causes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, uh, during our, our initial search and rescue efforts uh, while we were working underneath the structure, the same structure that, you know, is significantly compromised right now, uh, we did hear audible sounds and, and they were searching for uh, a female voice is what we heard for, for several hours and eventually we didn't hear her voice anymore. Uh, we continued searching. And again, I just, that's emphasizing the magnitude of what we're going through. You know, the, the efforts that all our fire rescue personnel, everyone that's here on scene trying to do the best we can in these heroic efforts and you know, yes unfortunately uh, we didn't have success uh, with that durante el comienzo de la búsqueda sí escuchamos sonidos de una voz al parecer que era una una mujer eh, después de estar buscando y tratando de llegar al sitio donde se encontraba esta persona después de un tiempo y continuaba la búsqueda eh, no escuchamos más a esta persona y al parecer eh, la persona falleció. We're gonna go with the last question right here. I don't have a time frame now. Uh, I definitely would want to continue focusing on search and rescue. Uh, so we'll have a meeting with the structural engineers and they'll develop different plans so we can evaluate and see what's best. So time frame, I can't tell you exactly when, uh, but right now our primary focus 
you know, obviously is, is rescuing our victims as well as protecting, you know, our fire personnel that, that are life-saving as well. So we'll evaluate and my primary focus will be to see how we can get back out there and continue our search and rescue efforts. I can't comment.